slot. It's got a metal post that comes up. And then up on top, it's got a weird looking contraption with two wheels, basically. And you can open and close those wheels by these two levers, and then it fixes. And so I've been using a steady like that on those posts right in the middle. And I'm not too happy with it. But it does help. I call it the skip rope effect. You got two little girls on the sidewalk skipping the rope, and the rope's bent as it's going around, and that gives the person jumping a place to jump up and down. Great. When you put a pole that long on, even though it's five to eight inches in diameter, you turn the speed up, that centrifugal force makes that big pole bend a little in the middle. But So your wheels are on the back side on of where you're working? On the back side of where you're working. So as you're pushing into the wood with the tool, it's counteracting that push. So the first thing I did on those is turn both ends and get hose clamps on them so they couldn't fly apart on me. And this next thing I did is turn the middle and get the steady on. And I'm still not happy with the steady. If I had a little more time on my hands for this job to finish it, I would be making a new steady. It would look like a question mark. And it would have a wheel here, a wheel here, and a wheel here. And my spindle would be right in there. Because I could have a three-wheeled steady. And if I did, that thing couldn't migrate toward the tool rest or away from the tool rest or up or down. It would be a better steady than the two-wheel. Because uh, it would it more encompass the work being turned. Instead of just being behind it. So yeah. if I had the time, I'd... Plus, the question mark shape allows you to take it on and off without having to slide it like mine would yeah, be. Yeah, I, I still think across. I'd have to open it for each new one that went in there. Yeah. Because they're going in at like seven inches in diameter. And We're like that. And I tried to find the straightest logs I could when I bought them. They're, they're posts. So if you can imagine taking wood off there, and there, and there, before it's round. That's what I had to do on every one of them. And so, the way you can do it is you can move your center up. Instead of the center of the log, you move it up to here. On this end, you move it up to there. And that way, when you take away this wood, and this wood, you end up with a, a fairly good round cylinder. So by moving those two ends a little bit, it helped help get away from the banana effect, okay?